Welcome back to Valhalla VW. Today we've got an interesting build. So today's job is to build a sleeping area for baby Eric. Um, when we started the van, obviously there was um, there was only us two, which would be going away in it, and there was obviously plenty of room, double bed everything was fine um, obviously since then little man has arrived and so now we need some more space this is what we're trying to recycle into van bed for the little one first step we've removed all the lats and that one this one that will be the finished size. So phase one is complete, we've ripped the bed down. And we now have a usable size platform. So the bed's made and we've found storage. Now we're just gonna decide where we're gonna mount the bed. But there's about six different options. We could mount it obviously independently off the ceiling. But that may be a little bit sort of wobbly. Well, I think the idea we're going to go for is we're going to build some more storage in underneath here. And then we're going to rest this on the end there and then suspend the other side on cables off the ceiling. Let's get some tools. Let's get cracking. Okay, so we decided to make use of the dead space that was down here. So what I've done is I have actually started and I've put the upright in there already. Take it around the back. As you can see, there was that much wasted space. So what we're going to do here is this will be a storage unit. I'm going to need to move, I don't know if you can see, but I'm going to need to move the electric switches, which is not a problem. And then this will all become storage. There'll be a storage cupboard here at the back. And then that storage one in there will become storage for inside the van. So. It's a multi-purpose build, we're gaining storage and we're also going to gain bed space, so... Okay, so the bed's laid flat now, which gives you an idea of, obviously, space. Like I said, I've put this, this first piece in which is the side wall to create the storage. And now we're just gonna cut the top edge in. That'll be mounted on the wall there, just to trim up the trim up the back edge. As of everything in the build, this is all stuff that I've got laying around. So it's not new, it's not neat, it's not perfect, but there's a little bit of damage there. But I say with a bit of sand and a bit of filler, it'll look good as new. And if we can recycle it, well then we'd rather recycle it than throw it away, so. Okay, so in keeping with the theme, and obviously everyone's on a budget, so this just proves that you can do things on a budget. See the gap at the back there? It's not quite even because we would needed to have bought another sheet of ply to get the, uh, to get the height that we wanted. And at £15 a sheet... Uh, yeah, that wasn't going to happen. So what I've done is, just a piece of cover, cut down a piece of old timber, and made their cover trim, and as you can see, that does the job. <laughs> what I've done on the back of the ply is just countersunk the screws, which then gives us obviously a nice seamless finish along the top there. So that's the top of it all installed. This this piece here is obviously fixed because that's going to create the storage at the back. And this piece here will create the storage just in there. So, so this is the storage obviously from the side door. Okay, so sides in, I've just put a couple of blocks on the back of there 
just to stop that moving around. The big problem we had was where we were going to fix to. So what I've done is I've got an old pine floorboard and I've used some tech screws and fixed it through to the actual main cross beams of the van. So it's a nice secure fixing point now. Okay, so the next thing we need to do is obviously fix something to this. As you can see, it's on it. 92 kilos, it ain't moving. So, anyway, to fix, it, fix up the bed, we now need a hook of some sort to fix to there. And in the spirit of upcycling and recycling, this hook here is off an old light we had. And uh, it's rated to around 100 kilos. So, it'll be fine. If I can sleep on it, I'm sure Eric will be fine. So, I'm going to fix this up next. And... Uh, and we'll try and get the bed in. Okay, so the bed is in. We just had a, a quick test session. I'll just uh, I'll just open the van and show you. As you can see, it works. So I've just temporarily put it up with, it's just a bungee cord. As you can see, it does the job. Actually, the bungee cord is quite a good idea because it actually rocks, which could be quite handy. So. You know, that might stay, or we might trim up with a bit of rope or something. So, but all that's left to do now is move the electrics, but that'll be in the next video, and obviously just get things tidied up. So, so anyway, thanks for watching this video. Hope you uh, found it useful. I say, if uh, you need to add extra space in your van, then hopefully that's give you some ideas. As you can see it works. So anyway. Thanks for watching. If you like what you saw, then obviously give us a like. Subscribe, it really helps the channel grow, and um, we'll catch you on the next one.